Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to some more of the Operational Art of War 4. Today, we're going to be playing Granada 83. That's going to be the U.S. invasion of Granada. This is definitely an extremely controversial war, um, but we are going to be playing as the U.S. Now, one of the main uh, concerns or main, main goals here is, number one, to take out the government of Granada currently, um, but also to rescue some American students that are trapped inside the country. Um, so, we are going to go ahead and do our absolute best here. Um, and of course, we always get the warning that basically this was just created in an earlier version. They didn't want to get rid of this awesome map, and um, I totally understand why. So, it's going to be our turn, and we've got a number of units here. Um, I want to go ahead and take the airport as quickly as possible. So, Operation Urgent Fury commences. U.S. Army commanders express concern about lack of recon. We don't have a lot of recon, but we've got plenty of rangers um, and other special forces here. So I'm going to go ahead and board helicopters, uh, and we are going to try and disembark right there at the airport. Always taking an airport is always a good thing in a situation like this, um, where you're trying to take out an enemy government, of course. The airport's going to be one of the locations you absolutely want to take. The air and naval support, I definitely want to bring them along as well. Um, we also have an HQ, have him board helicopters as well and move over here, disembark. Now we've got to keep in mind, we also want to take out all of these areas to the west over here, um, specifically saint George, Gabigny, the government house. Uh, these are all important government buildings we want to take out. We've got some more JSOC Rangers. Let's get on those helicopters, boys. In fact, we'll take the entire group here uh, onto some choppers and get to Granville. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Well done, boys. Go ahead and move a single unit to the marquee. I don't think we're going to need too many units here, uh, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to be able to probably make it through with just a few. Um, so I'm going to bring these units over here only because I see some enemy units there. So I want to go ahead and engage them. And let me try to get this guy to Sauters. Uh-oh. We did get hit in the air, but I think our boys are just fine. Move this unit, just a single unit move towards Victoria. Every single one of the units right now, if you see those three dots, are highly aggressive, which means they will take a lot of um, a lot of damage um, if they attack. Technically speaking, they could also, you know, just just not run away very easily and do just fine. We don't know how the enemy is going to react here. Let's take these units. So this is the air and naval support, and we could go ahead and start attacking, um, plan an attack here against the enemy. Also got some Marines. Now these guys, let's get into, I guess we've got to get on a ship. So let's get on the ship and let's try to make it over here to the HQ. Now the HQ here could be the headquarters of the actual leader, um, the dictator. So I am going to go ahead and plan an attack against this area. Okay, chances are impossible to predict. We're going to bring in that air support. Ooh, maybe we can't bring in that air support. It's not looking very good though, I'll be honest with you. Um, our attack's going to be 31 plus 22, though. We are U.S. Marines. We should be able to do this. I'm surprised that we can't bring these guys in. Ah, there we go. Okay. Nice. Our losses will probably be extremely heavy. Well, you know what? It's the price we pay for this initial uh, foray into enemy territory here. I think for now, we just end the turn. Let's do it, guys. End turn. Turn it over to the Grenadans. Is it the Grenadans or the Grenadans? Here we go. We're hitting the HQ with our Marines. How did the Marines do here? Okay, let's take a look, guys. So, actually, it was very even on both ends, but unacceptable losses. We're really not trying to lose anybody. It looks like we lost one Cobra attack helicopter. The enemy lost a few men, too. Some support squads. Uh, one of the BDRM scouts. It's really not going to make much of a difference to them. So... I want to see, we're probably going to have to wait a turn before we actually get to attack these units. Although here, I believe we can hit the anti-aircraft guns. Sure enough, we did some pretty nice damage to them. Let's go ahead and do an attack or plan an attack. Nice, bring in some Marines. Bring in some of these fellows here. And we're going to try to wipe out that anti-aircraft gun. Just in case we get any more um, air units, of course. And over here, we're just going to have to wait. I might actually go for another attack. Let's try. Chances are going to be impossible to predict. No. Yeah, let's let's actually do it. I'm going to say no, and then I'm like, eh, eh, eh. You could 
do it. All right, let's end the turn, guys. Hoping for the best here. Yes, nice. We definitely ordered the enemy back, or forced the enemy back. So hopefully it's going to be a pretty successful attack. The AA should be totally destroyed here. Nice. Not totally destroyed, but pretty badly damaged. And look at that. Not bad at all. Um, so the land attack there in the west with our marines. Looks like we actually cost the enemy quite a few units. Uh, we did lose one AT squad. They will be remembered. Um, and I actually think the uh, losses for Americans in the War in Granada was, was pretty low. If somebody wants to put the casualties down below, then uh, I'm pretty sure it was a very low number. So obviously we want to try to avoid high casualties. Now the reason we're still waiting for these units to attack is because the turn is not yet over. Um, we've turned it over to the enemy a few times, and we have taken St. George. So that's actually really great. St. George is, uh, from what I understand, the capital here um, that we want to hold. We also want to take Victoria and Goyav. Uh, and if you guys looking at Goyav there, it might remind you of something. Um, this is actually used to be a trading port uh, for many pirates, um, Goyav. And, uh, well, just in times of the age of sail, it was quite important. Let's go ahead and end the turn now. See what the Grenadians are going to do. So they're obviously working with the Cubans here, and they're going to try to save their government. We're getting some interdictory fire. You see that? That's our Air, air Force actually hitting targets. Um, because our Air Force is so superior to theirs, of course. Um, so we're actually getting some great shots there just with bombing. We're not doing hardly any work at all. And actually, if I'm not mistaken here, Port Salines is probably the main capital. Um, not St. George. We're hitting Port Salines a lot. There's an HQ there. And that HQ could be holding government officials. We're just not sure. Okay. Okay, U.S. Army commanders. St. George's has been reduced to ruins. Grenada, Cuba successfully defends St. George's. Um, afternoon, October 25th, 1983. Mental hospital hit by U.S. planes. Patients killed. Oh, I love these additional things that can happen in, uh, in this awesome series of games, The Operational Art of War, and that's one of them. So, basically, we accidentally killed um, some mental hospital patients. Um, and lost two victory points because of it. So right now we need to, of course, do a lot better uh, to get a total victory. And we're attacking the Grenadian PRM. Uh, this is the unofficial militia of, uh, of Grenada. It's Grenada or Grenada? Somebody's going to have to tell me. I think it's Grenada. So, yeah, all these other units are unable to attack right now. They just don't have enough attack power or strength. Uh, but we will take these other unit, uh, these other areas like Victoria, and we're going to start moving towards Goyav with the JSOC Rangers. And moving through this territory, if we're not staying on the roads, it's actually quite difficult. It's quite mountainous, uh, unless you, of course, stay on the roads. So we're going to keep moving forward. We're not stopping. Here in naval support. Yeah, I'm actually going to send the HQ in with them this time, believe it or not. I'm not too afraid of that militia unit, and I'd rather completely get rid of it. I'm also going to see if we can't attack this HQ unit. So that's going to be the headquarters. That could be the government headquarters. Eh, actually, you know what? No, that's not a good idea. I am going to dig in. We try to hit them with some of these, but I think we'll actually go for that HQ. No. It doesn't look like we can make any sort of progress. I'll end the turn. And I'm pretty sure that militia is going to evaporate. I'll be surprised if they stick around. Wow! We actually lost 16% of our men there. Um, we got hit badly there. Two of our assault squads destroyed. I hope we can make up for that. All right, it's Granada and Cuba's turn. Okay, we got some reinforcements. Nice. We're going to have to attack again. This time, there we go. This time we completely annihilated them. And we could finish them off even more if we want. Probability of success is excellent. We'll have the JSOC Rangers finish them off. And of course, also moving with the rest of our men. And we have to use these roads. This is going to be quite important, I think. Just to get to the main area here. To Goyav. Goyav is under U.S. control now. Marines are still dug in. 
and I don't think I'm going to be attacking with the Marines until we get these units here as well. But obviously wiping out the, uh, the enemy would really help. And look at this. We can actually go ahead, an entire group can board the ship, and apparently we've got some engineer units here. We're going to have to wait a turn or two. No, there we go. And what's this? We've got some more Marines, guys. Oh, yeah. Hoo and this is actually a tank division. Oh man, that makes me very happy. Let's group move these guys. And we're gonna start moving the rest of these units forward. We've also got some Marines here, the BLT Co-G. Plan an attack. Oh yeah, I'm ready for this one, guys. We're definitely attacking, I think, one of their main government um, defensive uh, areas, if I'm not mistaken. Our chances of success are apparently very poor. But I don't trust those chances of success. I just refuse to. I will also bring over our attack choppers. That's how much I believe in this attack. Fortunately, oh uh, yes, it's only a transport vehicle. Alright, you know what? Let's abort. No, that's not a good idea. We're going to have to wait until these reinforcements arrive. They're just too strong, so I'm going to end the turn. Come on, these regulars have got to get wasted. There we go. And ending the turn, guys. There we go. Regulars on the move once again. It's going to be a very successful attack. No, actually, they ran away without taking any losses whatsoever. Turn four. Okay, Governor General Sir Paul Schoon rescued. Governor General Sir Paul Schoon killed by PRA. What the hell? We just rescued him. How? Oh, well, that sucks. Media requests better access to U.S. forces, minus three. Special forces units withdrawn. See, these are not good things. Uh, what we are going to try to do is destroy this HQ... And hopefully there we can actually have a good thing occur. Chances of success were very poor, although this time we're going to have some air support. I'm still going forward with it, guys. We've waited long enough. Putting my boys in a dangerous position, but I think they can handle it. So we've got our HQ division over here. What the hell is he doing? he'll add some very much needed assistance. I'll even have him uh, join in on the attack, believe it or not. Alright, wish us luck, guys. We've got a very good defensive area here, but I think we can hit them pretty hard. Come on, boys. Yes, that was a victory, guys. It was a really tough fight, but we managed to destroy some uh, military police squads, uh, one of their BRDMs, and overall, we just managed to move them back. That's the important thing. Uh, we can't stop now, though. We've got to keep on hitting them. Even our engineers are getting some great attacks here. And in the meantime, I think we just try to hold our positions as best we can, but obviously taking uh, this area is going to be very important. So I'm going to see if we can't go ahead and begin an attack. No, I think we're going to have to wait a turn or two. All right, let's end the turn. This is, once again, Grenada's, Grenada's turn. And once again, we're getting that interdictory fire. That could completely alone probably kill uh, the leader in power right now. Pretty nice, wow. Okay, urban area has been reduced to ruins. Morning, October 26, 1983. British government rebukes Cuba for death of Schoon. So actually, right now, we just gained victory points because uh, since they killed that, that particular diplomat, it actually looks bad on them. 
uh, which really makes me feel quite good because that's going to make it a lot easier for us to win here. Uh, so I am going to try to attack in Cavigny. We've taken it. Beautiful. But we still have a lot of work to do. Um, number one, we want to make sure these units are attacking. And right now, they seem pretty tired, to be honest with you. Yeah, we're going to have to wait for them to get back into uh, shape, I guess. You can see there's no movement we can do there. So in the meantime, I'm going to try and catch as many of these uh, militia units as possible. There we go. One down. Let's try to get another one. Okay, I think we're going to have to just settle for one. Fair enough. And we will end the turn. I think we want to go straight for Port St. Louis. Reading that would pretty much be a total victory. Come on. And with these units, I'm going to basically cut off their escape, plan an attack. So that HQ is totally trapped. And we've got some really good units here um, to assist in the attack. Some Marines. We've even got some tank units. Chances of success are excellent, and I'm not surprised. But we also have to attack. Oh, look at that. Port Salines is in our grasp, guys. And we finished off that unit as well. Those are now our prisoners. We're also taking out these regulars. Oh, boy. The enemy government is crumbling at this point. Let's end the turn. Hope for the best, guys. This could be a victory here. We've actually driven them deeper into our lines there. A 38% loss of the enemy. That's just almost a total rout of their army. And you can see that the PRM doesn't have much left. Um, and I believe that the PRM is the People's Republic Movement. Um, it's definitely a communist organization, or at least considered one by the U.S. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and vaporize them. That's simple. Let's go again. Plan an attack. Probability of success is excellent. We're basically just mopping up the remnants here of the, um, the PRA, excuse me, the People's Revolutionary Army. That's what I think it is. Um, and we can end the turn. We've taken all these locations pretty much, uh, except this Gran Roja area, which we don't really need because it doesn't give us any points. Here we go. There we go. Now the uh, island is more or less completely under our control and the amount of damage we're doing there, I mean, we're completely just obliterating their army. That's one army down, and that's another army down. It's only a BRDM scout, but it still counts. Uh, we'll also go ahead, we'll try to take out these irregulars, but I pretty much think that this is a victory. Alright, it's going to be Granada's turn. And I believe they'll choose to capitulate. Okay. Okay, so mental hospital hit. So, okay. Students at True Blue Campus rescued, guys. We rescued the students. Students at Grand Anse Campus rescued. Okay, we got a bunch of... Um, of students that were rescued, guys. It looks like the Cuban forces at Port Salid's airfield surrender, but the UN condemns U.S. interference in Granada, and the U.S. House criticized American intervention. So even after defeating the government, we're still having to deal with this problem. And look at this. This is a campus. These are the, the students, of course. Um, we've rescued them. We don't have to worry about that anymore, but we do have to worry about getting rid of those regulars. I think that they're pretty much finished here. Yeah, I think that's going to be a total victory, if I'm not mistaken. We'll end the turn. Let's hope it's a total victory, but obviously, in terms of PR, it was not a great victory. So, um, actually, Operation Urgent Fury is a spectacular success, achieving all its objectives in a lightning-quick fashion. Thorough media coverage beams the impressive American performance around the world, giving Havana and Moscow serious pause when considering new third-world ventures. Well, yeah, I mean, it actually ended pretty well. I guess we, we did okay. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that invasion of Granada, Grenada, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and of course, we'll try to do more in the future. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, and have an awesome, awesome day, my friends.